Hi guys. So it is exactly seven o'clock and I wanted to pop on just like I said I would. So I will give it a few minutes. Hopefully people will join. If not, I'll just talk to myself. I do it all the time. <laughs> Hopefully you all saw the post about talking about red flags, pink flags, and high standards. Hey! So I totally can't see. But I think that's my cousin. Hey, cuz. Feel free to share. Because I would love, love, love. The more the merrier. Not necessarily because of numbers, but because I like really want to get folks feedback hey guys hi sister princess hi Aaliyah. angie is my cousin i didn't say her name how are you <laughs> you're still on the east coast hey hey ann <laughs> so i'll give it a couple more minutes so, this is like my first kind of sort of time doing a Facebook Live. I think I tried over a year ago. And literally, the two times I tried it, um, it would never work. Like, I would, I, I don't know. I'm not good with technology. So, I've been practicing. <laughs> been like sitting here with the camera, making sure the lighting is good. This is all very new to me. <sighs> But I wanted to do it like this because I really, really want some interaction and feedback. So hopefully you guys will talk back to me via the little comment section. Hey, Miss Amelia. <laughs> Super excited. So it's been a couple of minutes. So I will go ahead and get started. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> um, so... I wanted to do this live because several reasons. One, because I did really want to be interactive. Um, so sometimes I'll do like the videos and I'll post them. Sometimes people comment. Sometimes they won't. Um, but this is something I really, really would like us to talk about. So please, please, please comment. Um, and like I said, feel free to invite others. It's not a girl's thing, a guy's thing. It's anybody who deals with relationships or friendships dealing with other people this is definitely something that they can be a part of so what kind of prompted the whole red flags pink flags high standards is i was having a conversation with one of my homegirls Brittany, and hey deaconess how are you um and we were just talking about relationships and we were both sharing about some past relationships we had been in and some things we had noticed early on in the relationship that maybe or maybe not we didn't um, take notice of and how later that kind of came back to bite us, right? So, you know, you can see some signs in a relationship early on and you kind of have three options. You can either choose to ignore them and keep moving forward you can choose to be kind of mindful of them and see if hey maybe this is something i just need to be cautious of or you can tuck tail and run <laughs> so she and i realized that we did the first two we either ignored um things that maybe we should have been mindful of or if we were feeling kind of cautious um we didn't necessarily trust ourselves in that cautiousness um, and in the two relationships that we were talking about, both of those relationships ended up um, ending. So as I was talking to her, I was like, you know, there's like a thing. Like, I don't know if it's a real thing, but I made it a thing where obviously there are red flags. We're all familiar with that. But then also maybe there are pink flags. And then where does high standards fall into that? So, um let's talk a little bit about the differences and again please 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 um share your thoughts hey mr wanda um on you know experiences you have had or thoughts you have about this maybe you know i'm just coming from left field so when you think about a red flag most of us are familiar with that most of us 
could kind of easily define that as it is a huge stop. Like, you know, do not pass go. Do not collect $100. Nothing. Hey, Miss Kenny. Um, so you see this behavior in a person or they do this thing and you're like, this is crazy. I, mm, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Um, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that. Like, it's not even a question, right? You, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that. Deal with that. But then you have these like pink flags where you're like, mm, that's a little suspect. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I feel a little uncomfortable, but maybe I'm tripping. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it. Oh, Kenny, you funny. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? Like, are would you guys consider a pink flag a thing? Like things that you you see, but you don't necessarily get overly concerned about, but you're aware of. So I, I don't know. Talk talk back to me. Um, and while you're talking back to me about the pink flag, I will also talk about high standards. So then what is a high standard? Is it possible to have too high a standard? Um is that like a thing? Like, I don't know. I would like your feedback on that too. So I'm thinking about when um, I was significantly younger and in relationships, people would tell me all the time, like, your standards too high. Like, you're not going to meet anybody, excuse me, who would fit all of those categories. You're going to have to like modify things a little bit. And I would think like, no, these are things that are important to me. And I really want to continue um, to keep them like they they are significant. So um, since I haven't heard from anybody. So, Teresa, I don't know if you're saying that definitely pink flags are a thing. Um, Good point, Aaliyah. So pink flags can totally turn into red flags if you don't address them. And we do that oftentimes. Like, again, even with the red flags, like we might see it. And we're not going to say anything about it. We're just going to stop dealing with the person. But maybe we should share it with them. Hey, Keely. Um, we should share it with them because maybe it's something they don't realize they're doing. Um, that nobody else has ever told them. Or everybody else runs away. And if nobody tells them it's a problem or it's wrong, then they're not going to deal with it. And then, Kenny, you were saying your pink flags are more yellow. Okay, so you think about like stoplights and you take them very seriously. It, yes, very true. Hey, Chris. Um, so it seems at least for a couple of people, it's a consensus that pink flags are a thing. Um, and if you don't deal with them, they could very easily become a red flag. So what do you think about high standards? Is it possible to have too high a standard and if you think that it is possible, like what's an example? Um, so I was going to kind of share. Uh, so I was sharing about me when I was younger. So in my 20s, you know, I, I had never been married. I didn't have any children. I had been to school. I actually was fortunate enough to own my own home, you know, have my own car, had a good job. All of those kind of things. Hey, Tia. Um and so I would be like, okay, well, he, all those things I just listed, I was like, he had to have this and this and this and this, whatever I'm bringing to the table, he got to bring to the table too, you know what I'm doing. And so I was told by men and women alike, like, okay, maybe you're doing too much. Maybe that's too, too high. Like maybe can he have like a high school education? Does he really have to have a college degree? Well, maybe he live with his mama, but he got good credit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You might want to balance that out a little bit. So I don't know. Again, at the time, I was kind of like, well, if I got it, he he should have it. So open communication is important. And you try your best to not ignore the pink flags. Love it. it but it's so easy. It's so easy to ignore. I, maybe it's just me. So easy to be like, oh, well, it's not that bad. Hey, Miss Marie. High standards are our heart's desire. And God wants what our heart's desire. That is true. What if our heart's desire don't line up with his heart's desire, though? Is it too high then? So Kenny is saying, yes, yeah, I think it's a, a, 
a such thing as too high standards because it can make a person co- that's a good point so that's kind of i think how i was i was like okay if you don't have this this and this and this and this how many possible you know individuals could have missed out on a relationship with or a friendship like i said i'm not necessarily limiting this to like a romantic relationship but maybe i was like i'm just doing too much so Aaliyah, in my experience i think as women our standards should remain high you lowered them before <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. But you like, I lowered my standards and look what that got me. Um, so that we can have a whole conversation um about like how how to balance that. Like how do you how do you balance standards? Like you gotta brush your teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a standard. You have to pay your bills. That's a standard. You know, we saying it's too high um you know is it possible to say too like you gotta work at x y and z place and you gotta make sixty thousand dollars and if you don't make them six thousand dollars then i can't date you so it's interesting i'm and loving and appreciating all the comments because this is kind of like what i was talking to my friend about like how do we navigate these three different areas yes deacon is stand your ground it's somebody out there, so it could very well be somebody out there. If you have this list that is your heart's desire, you've prayed about it, thought about it, it's important to you, God could very well answer you. So praise God. Hey, Fallon. Hey, Jen. Use <laughs> my comments. I'm, sometimes common sense ain't common. I'm just saying. So. <laughs> So I was thinking when I was thinking about this, like how do you kind of figure out if it's a red flag, a pink flag, or high standards? Okay, I will definitely save it. Be safe, walk at home. I love you too. Thank you for joining us, Miss Kenny. Um, so let's say you have this example where um you're dating a guy or something, and um I'm saying this because there's some things you can be flexible on, some things you can't. Show enough. Uh, Fallon and balancing standards is a great topic that should be continued throughout the relationship for sure because relationships change and ebb and flow. So let's say, you know, I'm seeing a guy and a girl here. I don't think I have any guys on um, the video. If so, say hey, then I'll know. But assuming, you know, we're all ladies here, you're dating someone and um, he wants to go to Burger King and you want to go to Chick-fil-A. Totally random, low-key example, kind of. <laughs> so you are, you don't eat beef, you don't eat burgers. The last time you went to Burger King, you got sick, you can't go. Like, you just like, oh, just the thought about you, like, I can't, I can't do Burger King. And you explain all this to him. You're like, no, I really want to go to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is fire. I want some lemonade and some waffle fries. And he's like, no, I want to go Burger King. And you're like, okay, but I don't eat beef. Da, 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 da. And he just, hey, Brandon. So we got a guy on. Um, So he's like, oh, okay, you don't want to go to Burger King? And he like stops texting. Say y'all are texting. He stops texting. Like you don't hear from him anymore that night. You don't hear from him the next day. Like, he like, M.I.A. Because he mad. Because you didn't want to go to Burger King. The next day, you maybe reach out to him. Call him. Text him. Maybe not. But just saying for the sake of the example. And he, like, literally doesn't respond. He, like, literally ghosts you. So, is this a red flag? A pink flag? Or possibly, could you have a high standard? So, where am I going with this? So let's say it's a red flag. Because everybody defines these things differently. So some person may say, you know what, that's a red flag. He tripping. He's selfish. I told him I don't eat beef. He trying to make me go to Burger King anyway. He's not a good communicator. Um, this response <laughs> to me not wanting to go to Burger King is drastic and extreme. Like he literally not talking to me because I didn't want to go to Burger King. 
you know, he just didn't get his way. He doesn't know how to do deal with conflict. <laughs> Tia, you silly. You know, so you like, he crazy. If he tripping like this over a burger, I'm going to catch Chris before it goes. Here's what I've learned. Oh, it went too fast. Um, Yes, sometimes you do have to narrow them down for sure. I didn't catch all of yours, Chris. I'm sorry. But yes, you're, I think our standards or expectations do alter a bit. As we age, depending on some things. Um, hey, Rochelle. Hey, China. So, things like most of y'all are saying. Um, well, oh, good point, Aaliyah. Um, so, possibly a red flag. So, maybe some person will say, well, it's a pink flag. Because maybe it's not as extreme as it seems. So, maybe he had a bad day that day. And... BK is just his go-to when he's had a bad day. And, you know, because we weren't willing or I wasn't willing to go to BK, not a personal situation, but, you know, that made him feel so kind of way. Or maybe this day that I didn't hear from him, maybe he happened to break his phone, now his phone not working, or something happened, some emergency, and there's some other reason why he's not reaching out to me. I want to give him the benefit of that. Maybe he's processing what had happened, he wants to talk to me about it, but he's just trying to calm down. So maybe it's a pink flag. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Um, so Aaliyah is going into, it could possibly be a high standard. Because maybe someone is saying in this scenario, hey, I ain't got time for foolishness. <laughs> I don't have time for a person who can't communicate or handle conflict. So I'm not even going to wait to see Maybe what the reason is, it doesn't matter if it's a red flag. It doesn't matter if it's a pink flag. It's a it's a, it's a done deal. It's a deal breaker. I ain't got time. I ain't, I ain't got time for the foolery. For the tomfoolery. So, perhaps that could be considered a high standard. Like, like you're saying, Ali, I hadn't even thought about that. Um, that Burger King has chicken. So, maybe there could have been a compromise. Oh, you like, okay, I really like Chick-fil-A. But... I'm willing. Love you too, Keely. I'll talk to you later. Um, you know, maybe I, I prefer Chick-fil-A, but you really, <laughs> you really want BK. So I'll get a chicken finger <laughs> and, and Burger King and we'll keep it moving. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know. Like, that's why I wanted y'all's feedback. Like, how do we look at this? Because obviously, how you look at it is going to be based on previous relationships. So, you know, Aaliyah is saying he should respond to Kia. It's like, it's, you know, Kia. Tia is saying it's not cool that he didn't reach out or whatever. So, it's like, if you're thinking about this, so just based on this very basic scenario, if we're saying these certain behaviors are red flags, then the question is, what do we actually do with that? Like, do we actually identify, we see these red flags. Do we actually say, you know what? This is a red flag. Maybe it is a little bit of high standard, but this is a red flag. And I'm like not going to entertain this at all. Or do we make the red flag a pink flag? Like, I, I really want us to think about this because I think what happens is, like, we say this like, we, while we're talking right now, while we're talking to our homegirls, we're talking to our homeboy, Brandon. We're like, yeah, you know, this list and this standard and my expectations and this, that, and the third. And hey, Janessia, hey, Brandon, Brandy. Um, we're saying that, but then we get in these situations with these individuals and we see these things. We go back to what I was saying about me and my homegirl. Like, we see them. But then we don't do anything about it. Like we don't maybe express it to them that it appears to be a red flag or something of that nature. We just kind of let it ride. Hey, Christina. Um, yes, lack of communication is a big problem. But but what do we do with that? Like that's, I guess, kind of where my friend, her name is Brittany, so I don't have to keep saying Brit, my friend. Brittany and I were talking about like we see these things but we don't address them like you know like are we minimize them and make them something less than what they really are and then as you progress on in the relationship B 
because you haven't said anything, because perhaps we haven't called them out right, Janessia, just say it. Put it out there. Sometimes I think as ladies, we don't want to hurt people's feelings. And so we're like, we don't, you know, maybe it was just a fluke. Again, we kind of turn it into a pink flag. We turn it into something that maybe um, we make it less important than it really is. And then when it blows up, they looking at us like, well, why you ain't saying nothing? You know, I could have gone to Chick-fil-A, but we didn't voice it. So I really just wanted to talk about, um, hey, precious, um, Tia, my standards start off high, but once I've expressed it to the person, if it almost backfires and I may feel like I'm doing the most moving forward, um, okay, I got to click here, moving forward, I may just not address it again, but it's truly, see, exactly, like you say something and then it possibly is flipped around on you and you like, Okay, but I'm I'm just saying I ain't want Burger King, and now, now, now I'm the most because I ain't want Burger King. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, I'm just not not gonna say anything else. But you don't necessarily want to end the relationship. Oh, y'all is so much. How do we do that? <laughs> um, one thing I was thinking about as um I was kind of mentally prepping for this is some of you may have heard the saying, like when you're dating someone, um, yeah, Andrea, like talk it out for sure. Address the issue when it comes up for clarity, um, in a healthy way. Cause if you like me, you like, "Uh, uh, 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 uh." (laughs) so it's not healthy anymore. (laughs) Cause now I like made it a whole nother thing. But when you're dating someone, I've been told or I've heard, you should come into that with your eyes, both eyes, wide open. You should be aware of everything, mindful of everything, and um, taking note of those things. Are there things that you're kind of concerned about? Are those things um, that, you, you know, you kind of feel some kind of way about, and you either take stock of that, and call them on it or have a healthy conversation like some of you are suggesting su- suggesting, or ignore it. Okay, minimize thinking. It was just a one-time thing. But how many times does something have to happen for it to be considered a red flag? Right. Is it a red flag the first time he ghosts you? Or does it have to happen several different times? Aaliyah, I've heard the idea of picking your battles wisely. So I would say address it, but it doesn't have to be a big deal. And I know y'all can read. I'm reading this more for myself. <laughs> If y'all hold, if you hold on to it, you may let it go, but there's chances it'll come up later, right? And then when it comes up later, is amplified because you didn't say anything about it the first fifteen times it happened, and now you like going off. Um, so if you're looking at that with both eyes wide open, then you address it in a healthy way. And here's the other thing: if you address it in a healthy way. And they either flip it around or they keep doing it. Now it's like a burgundy flag. You know what I'm saying? Now it's maroon. Because not only did you do this thing, we talked about it. Um, ooh, tell us about their pressures. You let it go way too early. You you missed the part about high standards. Um, So is, is that like, okay, I was willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. I had a conversation with you about it. Now you're making me feel like I'm crazy or I'm doing the most and you did it again. So no, it's a legitimate red flag and I'm gonna have to stop talking to you. Um, because once you transition into a full-fledged relationship, and for me, when I say that I mean marriage, now these things that maybe you ignored, maybe you didn't talk about, maybe you thought were pink and have turned red, now you're in it all day, every day, and from what that little saying goes, it's like once you get married, you're looking at the situation with one eye closed. So now it is kind of the thought of now you kind of made this bed you got to sleep in. And I hate to say it like that because it sounds kind of depressing. But I think that's one of those things where um, because we have a lot of 
a relationship status. So for the, the people I know personally, we have people who are single and never married, people who are single with children, people who are currently married, people perhaps maybe have been divorced. So it's a, a, a lot of um, relationship statuses on here. And I think um, the one thing I love about this opportunity is how we're saying in relationships, open communication is so important, but it's really important in general to have uh, communication, not only with the other person, but with yourself, like what is important to you. So for this random example, if eating chicken (laughs) is your thing, if that's the cutoff for you, then dealing with somebody is it a red flag if they're not open to helping you eat chicken or is it a pink flag because now they're asking you to eat bk chicken or is it high standards because you have only gonna eat chicken from chick-fil-a so i think the more we know about ourselves and the more we are honest with ourselves the more we can go into these friendships go into these relationships and have these honest conversations um You definitely feel a bit of, well, it will come up again. It may not seem like a big thing, big deal, but things change. Like you said, especially in marriage. So it's important to be true to you and your values for sure. So I just wanted to like get this thought out here. This kind of thought of red flags and and pink flags and high standards for us to kind of think about um, where we are in that and what things are important to us. Because like I said, when I was talking to Brittany, we were both like, we we chose, we chose to ignore some things and it did come back and it was not a good look. Um, so what do we do next steps? Like what do we say, you know what, from here on out, here's my, here's my, my line, right? And if they're here or above, great. If they're below this line, not because I think I'm better than someone, not because, you know, my standards are too high, but like, I know that I can't deal with that. Like if I know I can't deal with somebody ghosting me and somebody does that, then that's probably not a good look for me. Or if I know I can't deal with whatever, I mean, everybody's list is going to be different. But we have to be honest with ourselves and we have to have kind of that communication, that open communication with ourselves um, so that when these situations present themselves, we know how to handle it. So I just wanted that's just I didn't even know it was going to be this long. It's been 27 minutes. (laughs) Uh, I just wanted to get that out there and think about it and get other people's input because I think, you know, we grow. The Bible says iron sharpens iron. So I think that it's a really great when we have the opportunity to talk to one another about these things that maybe, you know, individually we think about, but we don't fully form, um, you know, our opinion or our process or whatever. And so, you know, we have these kind of opportunities to talk about it. So um, if anybody else has a comment, feel free to post that right quick. I want to thank each of you all for joining in for my first live is super excited also if you have like a specific topic that you are interested in um i am happy to you know do another live and talk about it um or whatever like it's 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 i I love this this is kind of my thing so if no other comments i just want to thank you again for joining in feel free to um reach out and come out to the other things that are going on in the next couple of months i would love to see you if you're a new destiny person i'll see you on wednesday um for all the rest of the folks i will see you on facebook i love you good night